click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends today we will see reflection of light now when light incident on a optically denser medium then part of light is get absorbed by the medium and some part of the light will bounce back in the same medium so this phenomena called as the reflection hello friends today we will see reflection of light now suppose light incident on a denser medium that is optically denser medium for example mirror or glass then some part of light will get absorbed by the medium and some will reflect back into the same medium or bounce back to the same medium so this phenomenon called as the reflection of light so if you want to define reflection we will say the part of light which is going back or bouncing back in the same medium called as the reflection let us consider two surfaces first one is optically plane surface optically plane surface means here we can take example of mirror we'll say this is and the second surface that is optically rough surface means it is irregular surface now in this case let us consider normal and the ray of light will incident on the surface so this is making an angle i that is angle of incident at this part it will reflect back into the medium so we'll say this is incident ray and this one is a reflected ray we'll say angle of refraction is r now in second case let us consider normal n again the ray of light will incident on the irregular surface making an angle i but the surface is not regular surface so the direction of the ray will be different it can be r or this is like this means what if you have a optically plane surface then the reflection and the incident angle will be same and that is actually the concept of reflection but if we have a irregular surface then the reflected ray will go any direction so in that case the angle of refraction r can be a random this type of reflection is called as irregular reflection there is a principle of least time so let us see that principle as per this principle suppose the ray of light ab will incident on the surface and it is reflected along the direction of bc then the ray will take shortest time path so the reflected ray will take a shortest time path this is called as the principle of least time when it is taking the least or the shortest time path in that case we have the angle a b n is equal to angle n b c we know from the diagram angle a b n is nothing but angle of incidence the angle n b c is nothing but angle of reflection so as per the principle of least time we will say in case of the reflection 
angle of incident is exactly equal to the angle of reflection. Let us see the proper definition of reflection. Reflection is bouncing back of light from the reflecting medium. Then let us consider two cases. In first case, here we have the reflecting surface. So here we can say it is a plane reflecting surface in both the cases. But what is the difference between these two diagram? In first diagram, the ray of light is making some angle with the normal. This is the normal. So just write down initially what are the things here. PQ. PQ is incident ray. QR is reflected ray. NM it's a normal. Then angle I that is angle of incidence. Angle R is angle of reflection. Now here PQ ray will incident on the reflected surface and it is making an angle with the normal. But in another case, the incident ray that is PQ will incident along the normal. Means what? In this case, angle I is equal to 0 because we always consider angle with the normal. So, this ray is coming along the normal, that's why angle I is 0. But in this case, there is a value of angle I. Now, as per the law of reflection, we know angle I is always equal to angle R, means angle of incident is always equal to angle of reflection. So, in this case, we'll write down angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. And here, in second case, the reflected angle will be again along the normal. So, we'll write here R, that is angle of reflection, is again 0. This is the direction of angle of reflection. Hence, we'll write angle of incident is equal to angle of reflection. So, this is the case of the reflection. Now, there are two important laws of the reflection. First one, just now we have proved as per the principle of least time, it will take the least time path. So, the angle of incident is always equal to the angle of reflection. And the second law is the incident ray, reflected ray and the normal all are in the same plane. So, these are the very important laws of the reflection. So, let us write down that. This is the first law of reflection. Second law is angle of incidence and angle of reflection will exactly same. So, in this way, we can explain the concept of reflection. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and please subscribe Ikeda.